Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple wall and a simple door, which the door can be opened in Blender 3.6. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. This is the Blender 3.6. Once I open it, I just press A to delete everything. And then next, I'm going to create a wall. So now I click add a mesh, add a cube, for example, and usually, a door is about 3 meters. So this one, I'm going to view it in ZY plane. I click X then. Next, I'm going to move this door, but you can see the pivot is at the center. We are going to, to let the pivot to be at here. So the first, what I'm going to do is just lift it up. You can see once I lift it up, the bottom is at here. So the Z change it to become one meter. And next, press control full stop. And then move this. You look at the value here, it is going to decrease until minus one. Sorry, it is going to decrease to zero. We are going to make sure it is zero. So we are going to, to just magnify it so that you can put it to zero. Pull it until you can see zero at here to make sure it is accurate because this one without any plug-in you are adjusting the pivot point manually so it is nearly to zero with xy plane just up a little bit it should be zero so now once it is minus zero then it is fine Press Ctrl full stop again to back to the normal mode. Now, you have this. So you can make this as a, as a module. First, you can just save this. Save this cube because this cube, the pivot point is at the bottom. It is very useful in your future. So I'm going to save this as a file. Click file, save as. I will save it on my desktop and save it as cube pivot at bottom I save this so next time once I want to use it I, I can direct copy and paste here to avoid further saving I'm going to send it to a zip folder just a backup here all right this two no need so next I'm going to use this cube as a as a wall so now this one, I click file, save as. I'm going to save as another file, wall. Save. Then it is pretty easy. I click, usually the wall is three meter, three meter. The height of the, the wall is three meter. So this is two meter. I'm going to just increase it to three meter. It is about three meter approximately 3 meter. You look at the grid, then you will know. And then usually, you should, usually the door is about 2 meter. So this one, I'm going to drag it. How big is, is your wall? And then, how thick is it? You can just adjust the thickness of the, of the wall. This one, let's say 0 0.2, 0 0.1, it is up to you. So once you, you already fix this as the wall, then you need to have a door. The door usually is two meter tall and one meter wide. So how to create it? So it is pretty simple. You click, you click this, you click, click the wall and then just control C and control V then it is going to duplicate duplicate the same one this this cube 001 you name it name this as a door and just now the cube name this as the wall so now the door you are going to make it make it small just 
just look at the x y plane sorry the z y plane you click the x then you can view view in that way so now you can temporarily unseen and hide the wall we just want to focus on the door usually the door is two meter tall and it is about one meter wide so this is approximately two meter tall and one meter wide so now this is the door and then at this time you make it expand like this first and unhide the wall so this one the first step what we are going to do is to activate the boolean to make sure it cut a hole here because now this is a door if you move move it away actually even if you open the door the wall it doesn't exist a hole so first you click click the wall go to the modifier add a modifier then add a boolean choose the difference the object you choose the door now click here and select apply so now what will happen you can see now the wall already been cut a hole this is for the door now so control z so this one now you can just make it make it smaller like this and next what we are going to do is make make the pivot to be at a corner so how same as just now you click x so that you can view in zy plane and then at here you press control full stop and you drag the pivot point to the side like this make sure it is at there so you may want to magnify it a few a few times so that you can really drag the pivot point to the corner so now done and then i'm going to make this door just slightly slightly smaller smaller compare with the frame wait not this you have to make sure you press control full stop again to to make it back to the original form then drag just make it a little bit smaller so now we try to test this door if you try to rotate it now this door can be open like this it is really awesome so control z first first we are going to make a material for this door maybe you want to rescale it up and down so that it is getting a little bit smaller it is up to you to rescale the door so you can maintain it at its original form as well this door and later you can add a door frame now we just make it like this to fill the gap a little bit so now let's have a look we are going to apply a material but as there are more i'm going to just simply apply a diffuse color here i click plus new and i just add a base color like this and usually the door is brown color adjust the darkness now this is a door and maybe you, you are going to put something here so that people can pull the door etc this one you may add some 3d model but first you you may want to attach the door to the wall you click the wall hold the shift click the door and press ctrl p and set the parent to object and if like this then it is wrong because the door should under the wall so you have to select reverse ctrl z to undo so select the door first and then sh press shift to, and select the wall ctrl p object so now under the wall the door is attached to the wall now if you try to move the wall then the door is going to move together so control z to undo so once you already have a door maybe you want to design your door at here as demo i'm going to 
to just design a really simple a simple door pool here maybe I try to use a cube then I make it small and I move it up it is somewhere here and then I may go to the edit mode here let's go to the edit mode and I press E to extrude then wait I press X to extrude it out wait control Z wrong I go to the edit mode and then I'm going to hide hide the wall hide the door I focus I focus on this cube here I press E to extrude right now it is something wrong so now to extrude this surface I click this surface and then I press E to extrude E to extrude then I extrude here E to extrude so on another side I can do the same way here press E to extrude E to extrude then extrude to another side E to extrude so now I unhide the wall unhide the door then you will have this we are going to attach this on the door so back to the object mode select it then hold the shift select the door control P object so now you can see this one the door holder it is at here so you may want to add a, a new material the base color just make it become gray color like the metallic color now this is a really simple wall without any plug-in I create the wall and the door from the scratch and now if I try to pull this door out during your 3D animation you may just try to set the keyframe for the rotation like this wait not not here rotate like this it you can create the keyframe so now this door really can open if you control Z you can close it so how about this this one you can rotate it as well like this you, you can see you should be able to rotate this because the pivot is at the center this is a really simple wall and a simple door and now I'm going to save this as, as a as a new project here click file save as I save it on my desktop wall plus door plus what, what is it called it's enough wall wall and door and you can just go down go to my video description scroll down to my video description I already upload this for you you can just download it and it is easy to modify you can use it in any of your project you can see the two meters one meters and the door and the wall is three meters tall you can use it for your building you can remodify this it is really easy just go to the edit mode you can just restructure the whole wall and you can duplicate a lot to create your house module etc alright that's all for today about my tutorials and sharing of how to create a wall and a door which can be open and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharing if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animation and 3d game developing you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you.